to my channel and welcome to this week's video which is my garden overhaul or I should say our garden overhaul because Freddie has helped out so much with this. This has been like nine months in the making. It took us a really long time because back in September we started planting all the bulbs before winter, cut back a load of overgrown plants, then we picked back up in March and we've been doing loads of new planting. We have totally overhauled the garden, painting lots of stuff I will show you very shortly and got some garden furniture this year which is nice we actually have something to sit on now and very excitingly I'm working with West Elm again so we worked together on my living room project which is here we did this last year and loved working together so here we are again doing a garden project the way that we worked this time was a little bit different from last obviously because the West Elm stores have been closed for the last three months and I still use the design service in Kingston. I worked with Maggie again, which was amazing because she did such a fantastic job in this room. We work together online, so the design service is still available at the moment and actually it's been just as easy. Obviously, I couldn't meet with Maggie, but we had a phone call at the start. I told her my ideas and kind of my vision of what I wanted the garden to look like. And she put together the most awesome mood board and I'll share it on the screen now. I told her I wanted like Mediterranean vibes, I laid back Ibiza looks, and I feel like she's totally nailed it. Another thing that was a little bit different this time is when it arrived, you have to self-build it because obviously the delivery drivers are not allowed in your house. So they left the boxes with us and then we have built everything. But the overall experience has been so seamless and so easy and I'm just so glad that we've got this garden furniture whilst we're having the most amazing summer ever. So let's go have a look at the garden. <laughs> nine months of lots of work. So I'm just going to talk you through everything we have done so far. Okay, so first up, Freddie did the lawn and he dug up the whole thing and reseeded it all, took all the roots out and it has grown into lovely luscious grass which Winnie is slowly destroying. So over here, we dug up loads of overgrown and old and not very nice plants and we have put in a lot of new stuff. So alliums which are just about to bloom, I think they're so beautiful, lots of lavender. We've got some rose climbers as well. Really want it to be like an enchanted garden. So it's got a while to go because we didn't do any work last summer. So started in September, we're putting in the winter bulbs and then readdressed it in March and done more planting since then. But it's just a real waiting game and I'm so impatient. We've also started growing our own herbs and Freddie's having a go at growing his own vegetables. Having a go? And <laughs> Are you serious? This is his tomato forest. We've actually got a few newbies on there and we've got courgettes here and we've got radishes we've got carrots and then spring onions at the back some red peppers and mint lots of lovely hydrangeas so we've got a blue one a pink one and a white one fox gloves which are being protected from winnie with this because they are poisonous to dogs and she loves to eat all the plants so unfortunately we've got double chicken wire fence up for the foreseeable future and lots of lupins which haven't been eaten by slugs yet but this lovely jasmine coming through from next door which i love it smells so good after it's rained um, and also these dahlias that i got in the garden center the other day i can't believe it they're only six pounds and they're looking amazing already We've got clematis, more hydrangea, and more lavender shrubs, which are really teeny tiny because I didn't realise how small they were when I was ordering them. And then over here, so we've got our eucalyptus tree. Succulents here. So even though it's kind of bare looking still, it's going to be blooming next year. Sure, I've got to play the long game with the gardening. And over to the most important part. <laughs> This is mine and Maggie's dream come to life. This is the Ibiza laid back Mediterranean vibes that we discussed. So we went with the wicker chair here. At the start we weren't too sure because it was blocking the step that it would like cut off, um, 
kind of the kind of flow from the garden to the patio, but I actually think it zones the seating area really nicely. And we went for the smaller corner sofa because we're not working with a huge space here. We got this terracotta plant pot from West Elm as well. And then this one was actually left for us when we moved in here. I love it, it's like Mexico blue. Um, so we've got the palms in there, and then we've got this. This is actually an indoor lantern, but because it's just raw wood, it's absolutely weathering fine outside. Both side tables as well. This was Maggie's genius idea. There's only two of us here, and at the moment, we're not really having anyone else around. So I didn't want loads of chairs, but when we do entertain, obviously we're gonna need more than four seats. So she suggested getting four of these chairs and then the two side tables, which are the exact same height as the seat pan here, make up your six seats. So just genius. I love that idea because obviously there's side tables right now and when we've got other people over, we can just drag them over to the table and they work as additional seating. Just so good. Cushions are all outdoor cushions as well. So I will just put the general link to the cushions you can check them out. West Elm actually have a garden sale on at the moment as this vlog goes live and there's 30% off. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but good value stuff right now. Cushions that we put away every evening because even though they are weatherproof, we don't wanna get them ruined. So we've actually ordered a storage unit to go behind here, it's long and thin, and it's black, so it will blend in with the fence, but it doesn't mean that we have to traipse the cushions in and out of the house every day. So eagerly awaiting that arrival. Our fence is an outdoor wood paint from Balspa called Nevermore. At the start I was a bit worried that I was going to ruin this brand new fence panel but I think it looks incredible and actually we've got quite a few old crusty panels over here and just doing the paint all over completely disguises it and I think it looks so chic. And then I got these solar panel lanterns off Amazon so just in the evening they click on and give us a nice little bit of mood lighting. Then we painted this back wall exterior mason paint and it was in like a creamy white colour so before this was just the kind of stone colour and so was the patio and it was all just a bit like green and mossy so we scrubbed it back, primed it and then painted it and we made a real effort because we managed to get over to next door and up on their shed to finish that corner. Then we rehung a new trellis for the wisteria so this was actually a birthday present from my mum last year and it's a year old and it was at the start just this part of the plant just going up like a tree and it has grown all the way across and it just looks incredible. So it's on its second year now and hopefully on the third year it's going to flower purple flowers. Another birthday present from my mum but this time for Freddie. This is the bee hotel so lots of solitary bees in the area come in and nest in here. We actually saw a masonry bee go in the other day and it was so cute. Um, Patio, have to talk about the patio. So this was a real chore, but we considered our options and thought we'd maybe go for decking and then realized that it was quite expensive and actually at the moment no one can come out and do decking. So we decided to paint it and stencil it and if it didn't work, then whatever. And it has come up so nice, absolutely love it. We did it quite like, not sloppy, but we rushed it, we didn't stick down every stencil every time. So it's looking a bit rustic, but I actually quite like it. Um, because our patio isn't completely smooth, so there's a few flaws in it. So I think with the kind of more rustic edging of the paint, it kind of just detracts from the texture of the patio. We'll see how it weathers through the winter though, because we've not put a top coat on it and we might actually need to do that. So stand by for that. I've done actually a whole patio DIY tutorial vlog, so I will also link that below. Our dining table, this is our concrete dining table from West Elm, as well as the chairs and this was actually the first piece of furniture I saw and picked. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so chic, so simple. And the wood legs also match the sofa legs and armrests, which is really nice. So it kind of flows, but also it's a bit more edgy because it's got the concrete top. We eat dinner out here and breakfast and lunch every day that it's nice weather because it's so enjoyable to be outside at this table under this lovely tree and just enjoying our garden. This is also the perfect setting for sunset cocktails, also morning coffee. So we come out here in the morning with our books and our coffee and we just lounge around before starting the working day, which is just such a lovely way to start the day. So 
this is our garden overhaul and I'm so happy with it. It's maybe at like 90% right now, there's a few final things we need to do, but I'm so happy that we finally got an outdoor dining space and seating area that's so comfortable and chic looking. I've linked everything below in the description box and if you have any questions then pop them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!